I'm standing right here trying to get my my cart together looking like a crazy person. Tuesday morning and welcome back to another vlog. My name is Alexia Nicole and I'm living my life by design. Ugh. A little lipstick on my teeth. Okay. Anyways, y'all, I am here at the shuttle stop waiting for the shuttle. It's a little late and I need to get to work. But I am headed on a two-day trip to Seattle. I've been to Seattle, but the last time my layover was really short. So this time I have a 24-hour layover. So let's see what I can get into. Come along. So guys, I made it to work. Got my Jamba Juice with a minute to spare. And today is the first day of carts. So my airline, we never used carts before. 18 years of being in business, flight attendants did not push carts down the aisle. And today is the first day that we start doing beverage and snack service with carts. And I'm the F2 this flight. That means I have to work in the core as well as up front. And Let's just see how this goes. Say a prayer for me. All right, guys, five hours and 17 minutes later, and we have made it to Seattle. We're in Seattle. I'll say hi to Hector. Today is Hector's first flight. I get to break his first flight chair. Bye. <laughs> Anyways, we're gonna go to the hotel. We fly into Seattle, but they, they got us at a hotel all the way to Tacoma. So we're probably gonna Uber back to Seattle downtown and do some touristy type things and break Hector's first layover. Break the cherry. Break the cherry, break the cherry. Uh, uh, uh. Anyways, where's the van? Y'all not on like waiting for vans. We, wait, we waiting for a van. Neither do I. This is common. Unfortunately. So see y'all when we get to the hotel. We're finally out and about. We just walked from the hotel to the bus stop and we're going to take the bus to downtown Seattle. It's only like $3.50. It might be a long ride, but we're going because the chain take us there. <laughs> they say there's nothing to do out here in Tacoma and I'm not about that nothing to do life. So let's go. Made it downtown. The bus ride was an hour from where we stay to downtown Seattle which is kind of crazy and I have to talk to the hotel committee about getting us a new hotel but um, we're headed to Pike's something market go catch a fish <laughs> eat some food you know just you know do some touristy sightseeing drinks stuff for drinks for Hector I'm still not drinking y'all I'm doing really well it's kind of difficult but that's all right, I'm gonna be fine. Yes. Uh, hey. I keep forgetting Pikes. We'll call it Pike. <laughs> Pikes. Pikes Pike? Peak Market, Pikes Public Market, whatever. Oh, we're here. Time to eat. Right before 
that color, so we didn't get to see everything, but yeah, that's a nice day down here. I've run across a gentleman selling shades. These are kind of cool though. But they don't block no sun. Like what's the purpose? How much are these? Ten? Ten? Should I y'all? I just broke a pair. Look at me trying to you only take cash? Cash on me? I ain't got no cash. That was a no. You gotta get that square read up. This is cute though. I love them. Thank you. We have to walk like 10,000 flights of stairs to get back up. <laughs> Count your breath. Oh, he did. He had a vodka double. And what did she bring you? A sweet and sour? Uh, um, I drunk it though. It was yellow. It's pretty. It's That's called a, a vodka sour. A vodka sour. Or whatever it's called. Woo. Woo. I was gonna work out in the morning, but after this. Well, after this, we dumb, baby. <laughs> oh, Jesus. The infamous dumb wall. I guess it's art. <laughs> it's some type of art. Oh my God, look at that big nasty piece. Ooh. <laughs> oh my gosh, but it actually smells good. How disgusting is that? I can smell all the flavors of the gum. Does that make me gross? <laughs> Yo, I thought it was just like one little wall. This whole alley is full of it. Like it's over here, it's over here, it's all the way down. Ew, who pulls it like this though? Like, who touches it? What does that say? I don't have any gum to contribute. Next time. Next time. All right, we are making the best of this layover. We are now at the Space Needle, the little observation place in Seattle, so we can go get a good view of the, the city. And then after this, I, got, I need to go home, go back to the hotel, and um, edit and post a vlog for y'all for tomorrow. So. We'll probably take that bus back, that hour ride, and call it a night. like my favorite thing, sawdust. <laughs> We're doing a little construction, but the views are still amazeballs. So they told us they had all the construction going on. But I mean, you just come up here for the views and you literally kind of get a whole view of the entire outside. It's dope. I'll catch this view. Beautiful. Is that nice? 
it feels like this is this is glass right here, so we're not crazy. But it's like trickery. Oh my gosh. We should have came up here when the sun was still out. Okay. That's <laughs> cold. That's cold. a.m. and I've been up since like 4 30. I just laid in the bed. <laughs> it's tired but about to head to the gym get a good workout in find some breakfast because I'm already starving and then um take a nap. Shuttle comes at 1 13 today and then we head back to JFK um, I'm trying to pick up I don't have another trip until the 30th a four day on the 30th so I'm trying to pick up at least two more trips like two more two days and there's nothing coming up on the board so frustrating Did I go to the right place where's the gym hold on I went to the wrong floor fourth floor um, yeah so I'm trying to pick up some trips and the only thing that's on the board is this trip to San Francisco with a red eye on the way back, you leave at midnight, you get back to New York at 8.30 a.m. And I am not about that red eye life. I can't, I won't. I picked it up and I dropped it. <laughs> it's, it's torture. So hopefully something pops up because I wanna work. I wanna make some money. But anyways, until then, let's get this 30 for 30 going. Workout complete. So, I decided that I'm not going to go out and eat. I'm tired. My legs feel like jello from that workout this morning and all that walking that we did yesterday. And I just kind of want to lay in the bed. So, I ordered an omelet from some spot. Uber Eats is here delivering it. And yeah, I'm going to just relax. Alright guys, so we've made it to the airport. Our scheduling thing is showing that our flight is delayed a little bit, like an hour and 10 minutes. Um, and it has to be like a round delay or something. I don't know, I haven't checked exactly why. But we're here at the airport. Gonna grab something to eat. Um, I wanna get on the aircraft a little early if I can to play with that cart again because yesterday it took me a little bit of time to set up the cart correctly. And where I have to set up the cart is right in front of where the core cabin starts. So I just had all customers' eyes staring at me, watching me fumble with that topper for the cart. So hopefully I can get on board a little early and um, just make sure I have my setup all correct. Day two of pushing carts down the aisle. I really like it because we get to interact with the customers a lot more instead of just rush, rushing through with the trays and being low impatient when we take orders and whatnot. So... The idea of it is great. I just need to get it down pat. Okay, y'all, so this is what I was saying. I was standing right here. This is our little marketplace refrigerator area where customers can come get their self-serve snacks and beverages. Yes, my airline, we have self-serve snacks and beverages. And then there's a row of people right here. So I'm standing right here trying to get my, my cart together, looking like a crazy person. But now that we're delayed, I have an extra hour to set this up the way that I want it set up so it can be perfection when I go down this app. <laughs> All right. Okay. So this is it's our easy. setup. This is how we getting it going. It's gone. <laughs> and we push. Update, guys. So I got my whole cart together flawlessly, but we're delayed even longer until 5.45 due to the weather in New York so I mean who knows we could possibly get an earlier pushback time if things change I'm sure the pilots will keep up with that but until then I'm just gonna um, relax in this nice mint seat <laughs> lay her back lay her down take a little nap 
there's nothing else to do. So, flight is in the line. So, it's now 4.02. We've been at the airport since like two hours now. And we're not supposed to leave until 5.45, 6. So, we still have about another hour or so until we start boarding. Scarf is uncomfortable. <sighs> Yeah, I just lay here, nap it out, watch some YouTube videos. I was in the middle of watching Wildly Diera. I love her. She's so cute. Hey, Diera girl. Um, yeah, so just nap for a little bit, watch some YouTube. Somebody always likes to ask me when do I have time to fit in watching TV and things like that, and I'm just like, planes get delayed. <laughs> So now I have nothing to do. <laughs> All right, it's 5 p.m. It's time to rock and roll. Boarding is about to commence, and we probably won't get back to JFK till like 1ish a.m. Now that's okay. I'm off tomorrow, so I can just rest it out all day. I avoid red eyes, and now this trip then turned into a red eye. Oh well. <laughs> All right, guys, so we're in flight. It's loud on the plane, so but I can't talk too loud because then the customers will hear me. So if y'all can't really hear me, I'm sorry. But it's 11.30, wherever I am. I think it's 12.30 New York time. We still have an hour and about 40 minutes left to go in flight. <sighs> and I've been trying to keep busy so I don't get sleepy because there's, there's no taking a nap on the jump seat. Not allowed. But um, I wanted to update y'all on how cart service went. I think it went so much smoother this time around than yesterday. So of course this is day two of me doing carts. And I really like it, I enjoy it. Because no matter what, no matter how prepared you are, people are always constantly asking you for more things while you're in the aisle. And to just have the cart right there and be able to give it to them, you know, as they ask, instead of having to run back to the galley is, amazing it's the little things y'all are probably like airlines do that all the time but we've never done it so i've always had to run back and forth back and forth back and forth so annoying i got my steps in but um but yeah i was able to set my card up the way that i feel like it should be set up so you know they have manuals on how they want it set up then we kind of tweak it to what we think is best and you know what the customers are going to really want so like originally the cart didn't have a lot of water. It had eight bottles of water in there. The whole bit of water in there because everybody wants water. You know, just little things. So I really like it. I'm glad we got it. I'm glad I did it on day one of the rollout, which was yesterday. Because they sent an email out to the customers. It was like, we're still told boots. We're coming through the aisles with carts and it's our first day. So at my company, I always send cute little funny emails to the customers just to kind of keep them in the loop of everything that we're doing so they were all kind of looking at us but it was fun so anyways Hector's over here dying he had a double shot of espresso he has a coffee now all right guys that's the end of the <laughs> end of the trip it is 2 30 a.m we just deplaned I'm about to split an Uber with my first officer and get back to the apartment. I'm off tomorrow. Thank goodness, because I need my rest. Um, <laughs> but thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I love Seattle. Can't wait to go back. Till next time, make sure you subscribe, like, and share.